Oh, baby. We in. We in here, folks. We got... We got Julian, we got Gillis, we got Main Man Market, we got Hyena, we got Medusa, Gorea, Alex, and Donald. We got them all. They're all in here. Alright. Let's see. What are we picking for factions? Right now? Okay, let me see. No one's picked anything just yet. Bulk is... Not, I don't think he's actually going Pontus. So, AIDS Brigade is defending first. Duck Hunters are attacking first. They've picked Macadon for their first pick. Very nice, very, very Chad, very Chad. You can say Black Knight. Oh, the blackest of knights. Hmm, hello. Where's Cam? Uh, market. I I lost it. I lost it. I honestly don't know where it went. I had a face cam a while back, and uh, I don't know where it went. It's gone. Reduced to atoms. Or just say Alex. My Romanian name is harder to pronounce. Uh, so, okay, okay. I can work with that. What up, DJ? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome in. We waiting. We chilling. We vibing. Just waiting for... I think... It was in here a minute ago. I don't know what happened. But there's there was a, there was a feller here. Av, I think is his name. He was up here. But I don't know where he went. Hmm. Is he okay? Is he alright? Have is having some mic issues. <laughs> Get it? Have is having some issues? <laughs> I'm so funny. Laugh. Uh, they pick Nabatea. They've picked Nabatea. And... Pontus. Okay, so he is actually going to pick Pontus. Interesting, interesting. I hope A's Brigade wins so we have a higher chance of making it to the playoffs. Dude, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Hello to the booby, uh, mom. Hello, hello. Or mom, ma'am, ma'am, something. Baron, hello, hello. Welcome in. So, AIDS Brigade has picked Pontus and Nabatea. Two points for the defense, one point for Pontus. That's a three-point defense that they're working with. Attackers have yet to pick their second faction. Just call me Firesmith. Oh, you're Firesmith. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Firesmith. I just have to remember because obviously everyone's names are different from YouTube versus uh, Twitch and Discord, obviously. Everyone's got these wild-ass YouTube names. Never thought we'd see them, but look at them. I see your names. I witness you. You cannot escape. Let's see, Ferrorum has not picked yet. Okay, we're still waiting, still waiting. There's Hav, he's back. Mike issues solved. Hopefully. I mean, that's not a bad combo, though. Nabatea Pontus for defense. That's not that's not the worst. But yeah, okay, they, they picked Syracuse. Interesting. Oh wait, that's Rise of Republic, Syracuse. Ooh. Rise of Republic Syracuse. So that means they're this guy down here. Mm-mm-mm. 
So Mac so for the attack is three points. Macadon is zero, Rasbogi is three. So we're looking at a six point attack and a three point defense. Now the question is Can AIDS Brigade come out with this defensive win? Or are they gonna let the Duck Hunters run away with a six point victory? Let's see, let's see. I'm seeing a spicy comp here from Pompus right now. Oh my lord. What are we looking at? Oh no. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh. Oh, they do know it's max eight, right? No, you cannot see. You cannot see until we're loaded in. <laughs> what up, Darko? Christian. Yeah, Bulk is cooking right now. He's cooking. <laughs> He's cooking. It is to prevent the other team from possibly cheating. Okay? Yeah, I'm not calling you Mr. Big Nuts, alright? Calm down. Stop deleting the previous message. I see you doing that. I see that. Like the Eye of Sauron. I fucking see you. I see you. You can't, you can't type the message and then wait five minutes and then type it again and delete it. I see all... Message deleted. Oh no. Destro must be a mod. I must remove him. We need to put Destro in timeout. My old internet name and I need to figure out how to change it now with all the YouTube streaming. Um... I think you just go to your... Go to your profile settings, I think. Uh, max 8 units, wasn't 7, yeah, it's, it's been 8 for, like, the last 2 or 3 seasons, I think. It was 7, we went to 8, then we went back down to 7, and then we were like, nah, 8 is good, and we went up to 8. So. So, 3-point defense, Age Brigade on the defense, for those of you just joining in, Age Brigade is defending first. They've got three points on the defense. Duck Hunters on the attack first. Six points. That's Rise of Republic Syracuse. Should be juicy. Pontus cooking up something sus as fuck. Not gonna lie, but all right. <laughs> We're going in, dude. He has so much money left over. Oh my lord. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, he's... he's... he's not ready. He's he's second-guessing, maybe? Nope, okay, he's coming back. Oh my god, he has so much left, bro. He's... He had so much money left. Alright, let me load in, and then I'll take down the tier list here. Wait for it, wait for it. Hmm, tier list down. Look at that. Watch. Uh, hello, Tony. Welcome in, welcome in. Chevrons for Pontus. Yes. Yes. I mean, it's not bad, it's just with max 8, you could have brought a lot more than what you brought. Hopefully we can load in though, it's taking a fat minute. Three Chevron Pontic Swords. Uh, not quite. The general's unit, yes. The other ones, no. I think there's like six. There's like six Pontix, bro. There's like not that many. All right. All right. Did you guys want to see the Pontic army so bad? There's four Thoreo Spears, and I think five Pontic Swords, or maybe six. And then the General's a seven? Hold on, what is this? Pontic Sword, two, three, four, five. Why does that say? Okay, so there's five Pontic Swords, and then the sixth is a General's Pontic Sword. So there's six total Pontics. Um... Four of them 
have a single chevron, one has a double chevron, and then the general's unit has a triple chevron. He brought two mercenary naked swords um, and a hillman unit. And then I think he brought four eastern archers and a pontic peltist. Oh no, yeah, he brought a slinger. One slinger, three eastern archers, a pontic peltist, Cappadocian cav, two nakeds, six pontic swords, one is the general. Chevroned him up a little bit for the rail spears. Yeah, what up, Yazy? Balls. Yeah, they have a, they have 20 units, but dude, he spent like 600. He had 670 left over for chevrons. He could have easily brought eight pontics, bro. Easily. Pontics only have 50 HP too, so I mean, you're definitely gonna need more. Uh, Nabatea's got four heavy archers and a levy skirmisher. Okay, move your entire army into a jumbled mess. All right, we'll come back to that. Uh, Mechid Mechadon, Rise of Republic. Let's do Syracuse. Rise of Republic Syracuse has the three mercenary Cretans. Or four mercenary Cretans, I think. Yeah, four mercenary Cretans. It's got one, two, three, four, five native Sicilian tribesmen. It's got two mercenary Soler Solarioi hoplites. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven elite hoplites. Mechadon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thorax. That's already cooking, bro. One. Yeah, one Militia Hoplite, one Thorail Spear, Companion Cav General. It's probably got the three Cretans and a Rodian, yes sir, and a Thessalian Cav. Who's on attack? The Duck Hunters be attacking. That'd be uh, Runic. Or no, not Runic. Reaper. Reaper King. That's Negan, sorry. Negan and Ferorum. Alright, let's see this. Nabatea comp now. Let me see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven armored desert hoplites. One, two, three, four. Oh, we got axe warriors and swords. Okay, so two Nabataean swords, two axe warriors. Got the four heavies, the one levy skirmisher, and the noble cav. Mm. All right, Gillis. We'll catch you later, dude. Boobini, what's the Pontus comp looking like? Dude, sauce, you ain't ready for this, bro. He's got six Pontic swords, four have a single chevron, one has a double chevron, and the general has a triple chevron. He's got three eastern archers, one peltist, one slinger. He's got four Thoreo spears, one hillman, and two naked swords. And he's got a Cappadocian cab over here by the gate. Mind you, he had 670 left over after he built this whole army that he spent purely on chevrons. And he only has six pontics. I mean, shit, I would have rather just brought eight pontics and then chevroned all of them one time. That would have been probably a little better. Make the general the Cappadocian cab, I think. I think, I think general can be Cappadocian cab for pontus, right? Uh, if I'm remembering correctly. But yeah, the Pontic... Make the Pontic General a fucking cav unit, and then bring that extra Pontic as an infantry unit, chevron all eight of your Pontics. If you really wanted to chevron them bitches, then boom, you're done. Eight the rails, five peltists. I mean, that would be pretty good too. I mean, they do have elite hoplites. You'd have the sword side them, because they got... Well, let me see. Let me try if I can... If I can, like, finagle it. There we go. There we go. 60 base, though. That's kind of a lot of armor. They just need for Rubric to... Wait. For Rubric to Ferorum to forget his archers exists and Cappadocians getting 500 kills. Dude, these Cappadocians are gonna have to carry the team, bro. It's just gonna have to happen. It is a bold move, but... What is it, like... Two chevrons on a pontic makes it better than a thorax or something like that. Just They just don't have the health. They have like 10 less health. It's like 50 health there and they have 60 health. Let me see. 38 melee attack. 57 melee defense. One chevron basically puts them on par 
with a thorax offensively. The two chevrons that put him above. It makes it better by one melee attack. Look at that. Oh, fucking... <laughs> what? <laughs> one melee attack. It's the double chevron. The double chevron makes it makes it better. Where's the double chevron Ponte cat? There he is. 41-59 against 38-57. Yeah, two more melee defense, three more melee attack. That's pretty big difference in terms of offensive capability there. But 50 health versus 60 health, it's kind of, like, not worth it. In my opinion. I don't think Chevron's on Pontix are really worth it. Might as well just bring more units. You gotta bring the good Cav. Cappadocian Cav basically can fight in fucking melee. Like, they can actually fight infantry for a little bit. But we're ready. They're starting. Damn, they cooking, bro. Cooking them cheeks. Cooking them cheeks, boy. Hope they're ready. You blame fight me? What did he do? What has he done? I'm actually interested to see where they're attacking from. They only have... Oh no, they have more towards. They got three... They have six towards. And a lot of towers. Are they going to attack from the top here? Are they going to attack top down? Somebody ready up. Were they not ready? Oh no, they're ready. They just... They're ready, they just didn't say they were ready. Or no, they, they're ready, they just, they just didn't hit the ready up button. Told me one Chev makes Pontic better? Yeah, no. No. Not even close, baby. Not even close. His advice made me play Pontus too. Oh, oh smoke! Nah, nah. Some, okay, I mean Pontus, or not, not Pontus. Uh, Fight me doesn't always give the best of information. He's just working with what's given to him. I mean, he he does give some good tips here and there. But I mean, one chevron on a Pontic puts them on par with Thorax. They're not better than Thorax. Fix my upload schedule. What do you mean? What do you mean, fix my upload schedule? It's fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You know what makes me cringe? There's no scorpion. You spent all that money on chevrons and you didn't buy a damn scorpion. Ah, oh, makes me shudder. Oh, they are going for like a full push of this. This is interesting. Top down attack. I haven't seen anybody attack from this direction yet. Brundisium Small. By the way, pathfinding on this map is god awful. Especially, uh. This area. And this area. Pathfinding is atrocious. Like, this whole actual area, this whole gatehouse street, is actually really bad. <clears throat> yeah, but prior to him saying that about chevrons, I thought they were useless in melee. Uh. I mean, the thing that makes Pontic swords. Shit is the health. They only have 50 health, so you could kind of just dump them head on with heavy shot and you'll kill them. You don't even really have to shoot them sword side. You can just dump them with heavy shot and they'll die. So they ain't got no damn health. Edmund says speed! Double time! Boom, boom, boom. Obviously, you want to avoid shooting shielded and head on, but if it's the only option you have, I mean, it's better to fucking just kill it. Here we go. Big tower wall. Ooh, we're just going for... Okay, they're bringing more torts around. Did they realize that there's only two ways off this street? Let's put all the Cretans over here. But we're going to attack over here, gentlemen. What are we doing? What's going on? What's happening? Hmm. I mean, I see the I see the idea here, because if they knock down this, defenders can't really hold that 
Because then they can just position here and shoot you in the back. And then that forces you to give up this double arrow tower. And then if you're holding anywhere within this radius, you're gonna get hit by the double arrow tower. Here and here. So, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, you actually pulled back all the Cretans for Aurum. No. But yeah, I, I get the idea, right? Because if they knock down these two walls, if the defenders were to hold right there, they could get shot in the back. So then it's going to force the defenders to have to hold here. But then they're going to have to fall back a little farther to be out of range of a double arrow tower. Hmm. And then we have this giant freaking tower wall. Look at that. Ooh, there's a gap in the middle. Push up, push up that tort, baby. Get in there. Don't forget they have horse archers, decent cab, and chariots too. Oh yeah, no, Pontus can be very good. It's just their main infantry is not as strong as regular Greek factions and Hellenic-ish factions. Just because they are a mixed faction, so they have kind of like decent from both sides. They're not, like, too particularly good in one area. Ooh, this is a great spot for artillery. You have four heavy archers all bunched up. And an armored desert hoplite that's already lost 20 men. How did they lose 20 guys right here? Are you hit by artillery? I do have been artillery. Hav is just gonna eat the artillery with his archers gonna eat it. I made a single breach over there with one tort. They see the Cappadocian calves. Pontic Swords worst mid-tier? Yes. If we're talking like mid-tier sword infantry, yes, they're like the worst. Uh-oh, we're lagging. Noble swordsmen are actually not mid-tiers. <laughs> They're high tiers. There's technically four tiers if you want to get critical with it. Mid-tiers is like... below 850. It's like 550 to 850 or something like that. Or like 890. Price range. The high tiers are like 860 to like a thousand. And then anything above a thousand is an elite. Donald, I think, made a whole list. Noble swords cost like 900. What are you what are you talking about? Am I tripping balls? I thought noble swords cost like 900. Like seven, are they 780? Are they a mid tier? The fuck? Okay, they're like 780. Nah, that did. Hold on, what, what are their stats? I mean, is it just the armor thing that makes them suck? At the devil. 780. Look at stat wise. What are the stats look like? 45 melee attack though. 34 weapon damage? What's a Pontic look like? Okay, they got more- they have way more melee attack right out the fucking gate. More melee defense at 60. They have 60 health. 45 armor versus 75 armor, but they do have 60 health. Interesting. I don't know, maybe it's kind of a tie. I don't know. I would rather have noble swords over Pontics though. I'm not even going cap, dude.
Oh, look at all that Pila from a Thoreo spear and Nabataean axe warriors. Two Nab... Oh, that's a sword. Nabataean swordsman, an axe warrior, and a Nabataean axe... Wait, what the fuck? Game, stop lagging. Axe warrior, swordsman, and a Thoreo spear dumping Pila ammo into a fucking tribesman. Oof. Look at these Cretans, bro. Four, six Cretans, all in prime position to dump this hoplite fighting alone. Oh no. Artillery coming in, just doming the back line. No archers helping out over here. They're just vibing. And then you got this guy over here. Pushing a tort. Where'd they get this tort from? What the hell? Has this been over here the whole time? What the fuck? Oh, look at this. Arrow Tower cooking. Cooking the, s cooking the sword, bro. Cooking the sword. Mmm. Mmm. Defenders are cooking cereal, bro. They're cooking soup. And not the good soup. They're cooking some cabbage soup, bro. Oh, wait. What's going on over here? We had a tribesman go for the gatehouse. A little sneaky tribesman. Tactical disconnect, maybe? That rise of Republic Syracuse? Indeed it is. And they're cooking them, bro. They're cooking these hoplites. Where are the battle buddies, bro? Where are the battle buddies? How's game one going? It ain't going good for the defenders right now. They're getting cooked. Artillery just ram ranching them. Archers getting uncontested sword side. And an arrow tower freely shooting at their infantry. And they're wasting Pila on tribesmen of all things Ooh, archer's getting a nice side position with this aurora with the double stacked Ooh. damn that was like 20 down hot damn boobini season 10 tier list win <laughs> After the game, don't worry. You know what's crazy? They don't even have any archers, like, right here to contest these archers that are in the settlement here and to get sword side. You've got four heavy archers, bro. Where are they? They're back here. What are they doing? Get the hell up in there, bro. There's nothing over here. As a defender, you can see everything, right? There's nothing over here. Just take this position. Put your archers over here. Get sword side on that fight. Push these archers out of the settlement. Oh my god, they'd get in there. Oh my lord. I mean, this hoplite's been fucking beasting, though. 150 kills, almost. Still getting shot in the face. Oh, and he's actually targeting backline hoplites. I don't know if that's much of a of a sword side. That's still kind of frontal. I fight with my ass towards the enemy. <laughs> Only a true Chad fights with their ass towards the enemy. I mean, they're repositioning now. Turn off the formation attack for Rorum. Jeez. It's cooking you. Yeah, like, dude, these Cretans don't have armor. Rise of Republic Syracuse does not have armor for their archers. These Cretans could be negated entirely by, like, one heavy archer unit from Nebatea. Oh, you drop your weapons and take your clothes off? You mean, like, these guys? This is Grandmaster Sauce, confirmed. Yeah, dude, we need to get... We got two Cretans over here now. Actual Cretans. They've now broken this down. Double time. 
and they're just dumping that Pontic head on. They're killing them. Hey, where are the heavies at? Quick march! Advance at speed! I'm telling you. Put your infantry. Bam. Bam. Three heavy archers. Bam, bam, bam. Push that out. Push those archers out. Sword side this freaking attack. Come on. Where are you guys? You could even get free sword side on these guys because they're just standing there. Come on. Get them in there, boys. Come on. Instead, they're just going to get shot in the face. Uh, distortion. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, baby. Yes. Top line's going column. Gonna go right around the Axe Warriors. Might not have been a great move. Maybe it was a goaded move, because they're not actually doing anything. No, uh, I mean, they're kind of winning. I mean, they're not really... It's not really needed, right? Like, you don't even need to do that. You're just winning a frontal grind because they're not even contesting you. Here comes the first heavy archer. What's he going to shoot at? Will it show us? He's going to run away. That's what he's going to do. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Artillery still slamming these hoplites, dude. Ram ranching them. How do I get archers to shoot over the wall like that without them going around in some BS way? Are you talking like, like this? Shoot over the wall like this? Uh, well, make sure they're facing the enemy, or wherever your direction you want to actually shoot. Don't be super close to the wall. And uh, make sure they're not moving. Make sure they're completely standing still, and then give the the archer attack order, and they'll shoot. Because if they're if they're running around back and forth, or they're running sideways, or this way or that way, and you give an attack order, they're gonna fucking run. They're gonna continue to uh, excuse me. They're gonna continue to run and try and reposition. Uh, 200 kills on the ballista, still firing, with a chevron. Armored Desert Hoplites never knew what hit them. Boom! Heavy Archers being pushed back from Cretans. Maybe a tactical disconnect? They got three more minutes. Okay, the first Cretan is, is dying for the attackers. Can Slingers also get an angle like that? Um, maybe on like a barb settlement, if you're standing on top of a hill that's kind of at the equal height as the wall, maybe. But Slingers can't usually shoot over a wall. They definitely can't shoot over high walls. And if it's a barbarian settlement, you have to kind of be on like an upwards, upward slope or a hill that's kind of even with the wall. So they can kind of shoot over. But yeah, no, they're not going to shoot over like an archer. Yo, this is free! This is free! Go, go! Get them! Get them! Get them, Pontix! You need something. You need to do fucking something, bro. Oh, he gave the order. But with the lag, it's just too late. Doesn't matter. Wonder if the defenders have ever played this map before? Probably not. Oh, uh, what up, false reality? Welcome in, welcome in. Organize yourselves. It's gonna fall back into the settlement. You got double Cretans over here. I mean, I am entirely convinced they could bring this noble cav outside. This Cappadocian could probably kill that, and then the general's unit can just But they do have the companion cav. So they'd probably have to bring a unit or two out here. Oh my god, look at all the arrows coming in. Dude, it's not even a contest. They're just getting shot up. Two hundred and sixteen kills on the giant ballista. The biggest mistake the defenders have made Ooh, holy shit. We're over here now, hold on. 
biggest defenders or biggest mistake the defenders have made was not positioning any archers over here to contest this push. That's really it. They got no archers over here to contest this, and they don't have any archers over here to harass them from this angle. They're just kind of letting them. They're just kind of letting them in. Nebatane swords getting dumped sword side too. Yeah, it ain't looking good. You know, I, I expect quite a few more kills on these Cretans though. These guys have a chevron, over a hundred each. But with the amount of sword side I'm seeing, I expected quite a lot more kills. Starting to get some shots back. A little bit of a mild engagement here. Thrail Spears now getting shot. Sword side. Jeez, this is like... This is like an Everos wet dream, dude. All the archer gameplay right now? Jeez. All the eastern archers. This one has a chevron. I don't know if he chevroned this. It's got 87 kills. Maybe he got it. Yeah, maybe he's been shooting heavy hoplites. Elite hoplites, maybe. Definitely got value for that unit already. Costs 350. Chevron's about 500. They are mega dumping this elite hoplite. You can see all the archers targeting it. Yeah. Don't be afraid to fight Rise of Republic Syracuse, man. These archers have no armor. They have to archer dodge to actually avoid dying. Which takes micro. And if they're microing their archers, they're not microing the infantry. So harass them one way and do something else. When are slingers ever superior to archers? Um, when there's no wall like this where they can shoot over. Like, if they were attacking, for example, down this street, and the archers have to position, like, here, you can just put a slinger here, and then shoot him in the face. Especially if it's a good one, like a Rodian. Rodians and Balerics have, I think, 8 armor piercing on their missile damage, and they've got 25 rounds of ammunition. So they can do a lot of damage. Ooh, they're actually going to position on the wall here. Good move by Pontus. And some slingers on the wall. I don't know how long they've been here, but they're slinging, slinging the Cretans. Like this. This is where slingers would be superior to archers on the wall, shooting down at them. And they've already broken through. They've now captured an arrow tower. These hoplites getting very few kills. Archers getting... Even less, honestly. Chevron and 119 on that one, though. Yes, Christian, that is correct. Slingers have the highest sustained damage potential. Archers have... I think, like, kind of somewhere... Depending on what you're shooting. If you're shooting an armored target... I mean, it's got high damage versus, like, low armor targets. Archers are better against low armor, low HP... Pila can be like, or like javelin units can do really high burst damage against armored targets. And slingers just have really high sustained damage. Something like that. Oh, did somebody's general die? I'm seeing the sign like someone's general died. Is Pontus' general in the fight right now? No, why did it do that? What the hell? Why did it give me the camera thing? Usually down here, if the camera flashes, you, as a spectator, usually that means the general died. But no one's general is even in combat right now. Tactical lag. Holy shit balls! What up, Julian? What's good? I go to these Peltists right here, getting some nice sword side on that Thorax. Burst damage. Oh my god, why is it lagging so bad? And all the corpses. People struggling now. 
Hillman breaking, and Abatean Axe Warriors got 128 kills. There's one man lost on the Syracuse Gen. There'd be no way that's the actual... No, that's not the general. <laughs> That'd be fucking crazy. That'd be absolutely insane. The one guy to die from the general's unit for Syracuse is his general. Gotta push the other side. Shoot, it might be too little too late. They still have all these elite hoplites over here. Still have elite hoplites in the fight. Fresh ones coming up. I mean, damn. They don't really have a whole lot. But to be honest, the attackers have dumped quite a bit of ammo. Attackers have been dumping ammo non-stop. They don't got shit for these naked swords. I had my general die on 157 out of 160 once. What did he get hit with? An artillery shell? Yeah, and Abatea has the cav gen. And he's just chilling inside. Cav and the nakeds could win them the game? Yep. Possibly. I mean, there is... How much fresh thorax they got here? They got one there. That one's half. So they got one fresh thorax there. One fresh one there. They have three fresh thorax. One Thoreo Spear, and then like three Elite Hoplites plus the General there. Oh, they still have the Mercenary Sword. Oh, they still have the two Mercenary ones. They're stuck on the tower. <laughs> what is going on here? Are we having a congregation, gentlemen? AB Award for Ferorum? Yeah, I don't know. I just think there's too many there's too many fresh units left for the attackers, but I, I, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's gonna happen. But the good news is, the attackers are almost out of ammo. Ah, uh, here we go. See, this is this is where the slingers will shine, Mister uh, Mister Distortion. See, he's on the hill here. Archers are fighting right there. As you can see, slingers have shields. And they'll just rip right through the front. They just shoot the front. As you wish. A fresh heavy archer. No, like no ammo being shot out. Kill the Rodian, please, for the love of God. They only have 86 kills, which tells me they probably barely fired anything. Or they do have their daggers out. No, nope, okay, no. Shoot them. Shoot them, they're ripping. They're ripping, dude. What are we looking at like this? Sending in the Sicilian tribesmen against the general over there. Hmm. Naked's gotta cook, man. Where are the nakeds at? They're just vibing way on the back. Oh, these nakeds are in. They got 18 kills. They're getting dumped. Dumped by Cretans. Most of these Cretans have over 100 kills and almost a chevron on each of them. It's kind of a shame. This one's like right at it too. Does he have any more ammo? He does not. The Cretans are out of ammo. This one still actually does have ammo. Mm. That does not feel good. He's charging in. They're winded, apparently. Archers pushing away the Rodians still. Very nice. This slinger on the wall getting some nice back shots on those elites. Do you have the cav inside? Ooh, pathfinding maybe? He's gonna try and get around. He's not gonna let him around. He's gonna have to pull back. The salient cav. I mean, realistically, I think that the salient cav could have just charged right into him and knocked him over, but... That's just me. When Cretans run out of ammo, the shield on their back will disappear? Are you sure? Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. We've completely stopped. 
Fororum has dropped from the game. Ooh, that's, that's Syracuse. It's their time. It's their time to shine. <laughs> We're past the 20 minute mark. We're at 39. <laughs> We're at 39 minutes. And have? Oh, I just saw Fororum. Oh, shit. Oh, and Hav is the one with all the archers that still have ammo. I don't know, I clicked, I clicked it and it said Ferorum, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just only saw Ferorum and I just wasn't paying attention. Good eye, gentlemen. Oh, there goes that general. Oh. Uh, eh, I don't know about that one. A lot of them are kind of in the trees. He pulled back anyway. Honestly, I didn't even know that the shield disappears from their back. Is that is that also like, if the Cretan still has ammo, but they pull their daggers out to make it look like they don't have ammo, will the shield still be on their back? Because if that is, if that's true, that's, that's big. That means you can tell when someone's faking it. <laughs> Fororum's hoplites just walking for the VP. That's actually a really good thing to check, because if the Cretan's shield stays on their back, even if they pull out their dagger to fake as if they've run out of ammo. That's huge, because then you can tell someone's faking it. Because of the shield. That's actually super big. That's some that's some big game knowledge right there. Let's test it out. Let's make it a video. <laughs> Let's make it a video. Alright, here come the nakeds. They're gonna flank the hoplites. Oh, but they're gonna take a Thessalian cav charge. Ooh. Let's watch that number drop. 30 dead on contact. Damn. The fight over here is still raging on. Cretan's getting ammo, or getting kills. The cavalry, bulk! Bulk! Go! It's your time to shine. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Anyway, this fight over here is interesting. What's going on over here? Come on, Bulk. Get in there. Where did that elite hoplite go? Is that it? Did it fucking walk back? That's weird. Nah, defenders definitely won't win. There's too many elite hoplites over here. There's like four still standing, and then you have the mercenary ones. It ain't gonna happen. It was a valiant effort. But they made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. Almost got a chevron on the Thessalian cav. 180? Just under a chevron. What a shame. It could have been... The curse is broken? What curse? Rise of Republic Syracuse curse or something? What? Oh, Cappadocian Cav getting worked, bro. Getting worked, my Thrail Spears. What's up, DMJ? How you doing? I can officially say the Naked Swords did not cook, bro. They did not cook. Get them out of the kitchen. They went into the kitchen, and they just burned it all down. Ah, yes. The wobble bobble. Runic drops every time when he almost wins. Well, Runic didn't drop this time. It was Ferorum. And I don't think that's Runic. That's Reaper. That's, uh... That's Negan, I'm pretty sure. Dude, 
they've lost seven guys and they have 150 kills with a chevron. What the heck have they been doing, bro? What have they been fighting this whole time? Yo, yo, what up, Toto? How you doing? We vibing. Game one is just about over. A valiant effort by the defenders, but lots of mistakes were made. Not gonna lie. Mostly in the archer department, but... I mean... Damn. Attackers just... Put the pedal to the metal and just kept going. Two Pontics on the Gens unit are gonna fight it out. Naked Swords. Maybe they'll get a Chevron. They're almost there. Frenzy has just worn off. They will. They will get that Chevron. Very nice. Are you going to continue the Carthage campaign? Yes, the Carthage campaign will continue tomorrow. Today we have Total War League Siege streams. So today we've got Total War League Siege. Tomorrow we've got campaign. Thursday we have another Total War League Siege game that I will be streaming. And then Friday we're probably going to do more campaign. Possibly. Friday's a maybe because Friday I have I have like an appointment to get to on Friday. So I don't know if I'll be able to stream Friday or not. But Saturday we'll do multiplayer community sieges or something like that. Let's get them screenshots. Now let's take a looky looky at these. Have. Uh, half your hoplites didn't do too good. The other half eh, could have been better. Archers. All but one got pretty cooked. That Axe Warrior actually got quite a few kills. Probably was fighting the tribesmen. Dude, those hoplites. Bro, look at that. Two, 200 kills just about on both of them with a chevron. Basically the full unit, too. Heavy hoplites. That, these Cretans did some pretty nasty work. That one probably died too early on. Ah, Negan over here cooking. Thorax swords. 350 kills. Oh my lord. Two chevrons. Damn, not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. So now that they've dropped, let's go ahead and throw up that tier list. They're going to be switching sides now. What appointment? That's none of your business, Gillis. None of your business, bro. But yeah, Tuesday, we got basically... Well, so today, basically, we're going to finish out this Total War League Siege stream. Tomorrow, we'll do Carthage Campaign. Thursday, we get another Total War League Siege stream. And then Friday is a 50-50 on whether I will be able to stream more Carthage campaign or not. And then Saturday we'll do some multiplayer community sieges or something. Or some land battles or some minor settlement. Naval assault. I don't really care. It'll be whatever. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Oh, have like full on crashed. He ain't even in the VC. He straight crashed. Okay, they're gonna rehost. They're gonna rehost. Okay. Rehosting. Oh, okay. Yeah, host has left the game after I already left. Same name and password. All right. That can't be it. Let's get it. This gotta be this one. Hopefully I remember the password. Did I remember that? Yes, I did. Ha ha ha! Jeff Fafa, Dunham. But yeah, Hav is not even in the VC, bro. He's like completely crashed out. Wild. <sighs> Bubini, are you streaming our game? Um, hold on. I think I, I can check for you right now.
Okay, Hav is back in the VC. He's here. Okay. Oh, that's probably why they're having a hard time communicating, because Hav's microphone is broken. <laughs> that would explain a lot. Okay. Um, Thursday... I have Rising Kings vs. Saucy Llamas. That's you, Saucy. That's That'll be it. YouTube VODs autosave, right? I was kind of deep in my beauty sleep and missed the first match. Yes, they do. When I end the stream, it will automatically appear in the live section of my YouTube channel's area. Hey, man, I've been watching the Carthage content, and I love it, man. Ah, uh, thank you, James. We'll be back at it with more of it tomorrow if you want to hang out and play some... Or hang out and watch some Carthage, I guess. We'll be continuing that. We'll be continuing that tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get like, some water or something while we wait. We're kind of intermissioned right now. Um, maybe I can see. Do we have any memes? Are we slacking on memes right now? Oh, here we go. We got memes, baby. It's only like three, but we got memes. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't want to freaking dox myself. Hold on. Let me make sure this is actually... There we go. <laughs> okay. Um. Eh, we'll see. Remove the tier list. All right. Let's see. Kuzin coming out. Defenders throwing all their Pila on the tribesmen. Be like, it's free real estate. Kind of weak, bro. Not gonna lie. That was kind of dumb, though. Why the hell would you throw it? That was three units, dude. Throwing Pila at one fucking tribesman. Defending archers. Attacking archers. So it's like... <laughs> they like, what were they doing, bro? What were they doing? Oh my god. Mm. It do be the headache. DJ, it do be a headache, man. Watching a unit get sword-sided with no retaliation. <laughs> it be like that, bro. It be like that. Alright. It be like that. Alright, both of them are back. Okay. Unfortunately, my game is locked up in the beginning of game, and these day is not even opening. Okay. Maybe we could try fixing that. Have you tried, like, doing, like, verifying the integrity of the game files? Fresh, fresh uninstall and reinstall. Like, completely wipe the game from your hard drive. Type uninstall. Uh, the shield disappears in melee mode as well. Okay. So then you can't tell if someone's faking the melee mode. Interesting. Because if they... Because if when they run out of ammo and they pull out their dagger, the shield disappears. But if they go into melee mode and they still have ammo, the shield still disappears. So I guess you can't tell if they're faking it. Hmm. Why doesn't game one of Dump Degens vs. Chimerian Gorillas show up on your live playlist? What do you mean? Hold on, let me check. It should 100% be there. If I find it, it's gonna be a pee pee smack. It's right there. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> I want you to click the live tab on my channel page. And then make sure you have latest selected on the top left, that little tab. And it'll be the third video across the timeline. Chimerian Gorillas vs. Dump the Gens. Uh, wait, do you mean, like, game one, like... What, what do you mean, game one? Game one was, like, five minutes long. 
Because <laughs> they like sallied everything out. It's in there. It's like 10 minutes into the actual stream. Game one starts like 10 or 15 minutes into the stream. It is not, and it, it lasts all of about 5 or 10 minutes. It is not a very long battle. They went like a full sally out type thing. Can you give me a PP pee -pee smack? <laughs> Maybe if you ask nicely. Game one is nine minutes long for Gorillas vs. Dumptagens. Ah. Saba. Saba got some infractions? What? Any changes to the rules this season? Hmm. Oh, that's what you're responding to. Okay, okay. Uh, most of this, most of the changes are about the same, yeah. And have has dropped again. Very nice, very nice. Have seems to be having some internet issues. Ha ha ha. Got him. Yeah, I think the only major, I guess if you want to call it major, the only major rule change was that you're only allowed a maximum of three camel cataphract units or three camel units I think it's just three camels three camels in general three camel units so like royal camel archer and two camel cataphracts that's all you can have or three camel cataphracts or a camel spearman and two camel cataphracts that kind of thing I was so short, I just fast-forwarded straight to game two. I thought, ah, ha-ha! <laughs> Got him. Three camel catas, you can still bring camel spear spam. Oh. Well, there you have it. Just the cataphracts, I guess. Big drop-off between a camel cataphract, or a camel fract and a camel spear. Of course, one can wipe an entire army, and the other one, uh throws pillows at you. Unless you're an archer. Unless you're a lightly armored archer, Camel Spearman will throw pillows at you. Yeah, meh. I mean, are we, are we still counting um, Royal Camel Archers as a Camel Cataphract? Have keeps joining and dropping. It's very nice. Because that's the... That's the truth. Okay, okay. Phones. Royal camels or camel fracks. Okay. Okay, so then... Maximum of three either royal camels. They use the camel fract entity. Okay. So then you have a maximum... Three combined total of either royal... Camel archers and camel frags. Very nice, very nice. I'm Costanzas, by the way. I fucking thought you were like Andrew or something. Oh, you got me. Bamboozled. It's Costanzas. That's a false reality. <gasps> Alright. What are we picking, boys? What are we picking? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so that was a six point win for the Duck Hunters. Now, AIDS Brigade is on the attack. They have picked Seleucid. And the defenders, Duck Hunters, have picked Nabatea and Subarese. And Hav has picked, oof, excuse me, Armenia. So we have... Okay, okay, this is interesting, interesting. Okay, so... Three points for the attack. One extra point for Armenia, so that's four minus one for... Okay, so, we, yeah, we basically have a three-point attack for the Age Brigade. 
And then the defenders are looking at a four point defense. I respect for AIDS Brigade playing for points even though they're basically out. I mean, they really had to win that last game to not be out. And they're out. <laughs> If they picked Carthage, I would have quit this season Total War League. Dude, why are you quitting? We don't want quitters here. Alright, so... Four-point defense. Three-point attack. Let's see it. This Nabatea army. Oh, Ferorum, you better stop cooking what you're cooking, dog. Yeah, that's right, you better delete all those fucking units, man. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. There you go. Maybe too many of those. Okay, maybe maybe too many. Yeah, it's like he can hear me. No, 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 you had it, you had it. Okay, no, now it's too many. That's too many of those. It's too many of those. Take some of those away, Ferorum. Are you here? Can you hear me? Fucking, I swear he can hear me, dude. You taught him the Insubre's defense? Ooh, let's see if it paid off. Alright, I can respect this, Ferorum. This is a nice... I can, I can do with this. I can do this. I can get behind this. You're gonna have to cook. It's gonna have to cook real well with those. I mean, considering that Insubre's is a melee... Or, not melee, obviously it's fucking melee. Uh, it's an elite spam. Maybe not taught him, but helped with the idea. Mm, okay. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta backtrack a little bit in case he does bad. But, yeah. Um, and Subray's elite spam faction for Rise of the Republic. Essentially. Because I think they have long swords, right? And they suck. Or they just are dumpable. But, yeah, it's, Ferorum just needs to bring a lot of infantry just to battle buddy. He doesn't even need to bring a lot of good infantry. He just needs to bring a lot of battle buddies. So like a full 20 stack army would be perfect for him. They don't gotta be good. They just gotta help kill with the big killers. Because, yeah. Nabatea is not the killing force here. And Subrays will be the killing force. No Gallic Heavy Spearman. We'll find out. <laughs> He's got the eight Gallic Heavy Spearman. That's the build. If Fight Me or Arctic aren't stalking the chat, I would like to share that we think in of going in Subri's defense against them. Hmm. Well, joke's on you. Arctic's in the chat. He's watching. No, I'm playing. Hold on. I'll be right back. For all you land lovers out there, all you elite spam lovers, just know if your ally brings an elite spam, don't bring an elite spam yourself. Just bring a bunch of mid-tier spam units because you just need to battle, buddy. If, you're, if your compadre brings an elite spam, just know you are not the killing force anymore. You're the get-bodied force, okay? You're the get-in-there-be-a-battle-buddy-die-first. Congratulations. Ooh! What the heck just happened? Ferorum just crashed out of the game, and we loaded in. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. What the fuck just happened? He dropped as, as they were readying up. Interesting. Well, we already know what the army comps are going to be, so no point in doing that. I'm going to take screenshots. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's leave the game, gentlemen. Balance of power, actually not too shabby. He's got a third of that power bar balance. All right, I better see the same damn comps, boys. I better see him. I better see him. Look at that. Silver shield. We got two. Okay. Oh my god, not the Median camp. Very nice, gentlemen. Very nice. Do, do, do. All right, just gonna minimize that. No royal peltists. Shame. I hope A's Brigade lose because of that. Well, there's no point in hiding the army comps now. We all fucking saw them. Bump a dump a dum. Thing is, though, we didn't get to see... Well, I saw Nabatea's comp, but y'all didn't get to see Nabatea's comp. But then again, he changed it like a million times. Only five Thorax? I don't know, man. I don't know. I ain't cooking over here, dude. It's gonna get burned by the flames. He brought a Median Cav against Rise of Republic... Barbarian faction. I don't think you even like even Nabatea probably only is gonna have a Cav general, so I don't think you actually need that. Let me see if it'll show me this. What you got, bro? What you got? He's got the Commander Gen. Commander Gen spotted. Wish I could be. Donald loves his commander gen. You hope they, they now you hope they win, okay. Does Vanetti from Rise of Republic have a horse only roster? No. They do have the fastest cavalry unit in the game though. They're elite little Vanetti fucking cav unit. It's like 960. High tier cav, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna say that even at 960, I know that's considered quote unquote high tier. That thing's fucking elite, bro. That thing is so fast. That thing is ridiculous. I have charged in, killed like a bunch of skirmishers and run out before a general's unit could even like turn around and charge into me. Like you can, you can hit and, like, I don't know, dude, you can get in and out really fast. Pause. But. Because they have a shitload of health, bro. All of Vanetti's cavalry units have, like, over 90 hit points. They've got, like, 90 to 125 health, depending on what unit it is. It's actually insane. Their Venetti Ikupa Ikupa Karis Ikupa Paris whatever their elite melee cav has got like 125 health. I think the Venetti skirmisher calves have like 90, 95. They have a lot of hit points. And they also have a lot of melee attack. Yeah, that thing, it, it'll, it'll fall over if you shoot it, but if you let it just run around, that thing is ridiculously fast. The thing is. If you shoot it, it'll die. But the challenge is actually being able to shoot it, because that thing could probably dodge your shot from 10 feet away. It's that fucking fast, to be honest. Pretty ridiculous. Uh, no, they have melee cav and skirmisher cav. Alright, let's see. What do we got here, huh, boys? What do we got here? We got two Nabataean heavies. 
four Nabataean heavies? Okay, four heavies, a scorpion, already a massive improvement. Massive improvement. Um, I've got one, two, three, four. Four armored desert hoplites, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Nabataean swords. Okay, he went for the mid-tier spam. He's also got two Nabataean noble calves. All right, interesting. Maybe the, Medi maybe the Median calves will pay off. And Subres has a tribalist slinger. He's got three highland archers and a tribalist slinger. He's got one, two, three tribalist warriors. And then he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Gallic elder swordsmen. Not too bad. Skirm Cav is okay when fighting other Cav. Don't expect them to kill any infantry that aren't missiles, though. Yeah, look, Elder is Donald. The usual compute disgusts me, though. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Seleucid. One, two, three, four, five. Thorax swords. We already saw that. Two silver shield swords and three Thoreos. Two little hillmen guys. Median Cav, Ballista, four Syrians. Yep. Disgusting. Oh, no. What the f... What is this? Elite Persian archers. Hmm. That makes me sick. We've got uh, three, four elite Persian archers, and what is this? An Eastern Javelin? We're already lagging. We haven't even started yet. Oh my god. Oh fuck! It's Tuesday. Steam. Steam servers are doing their, like, they're, they're doing their frickin' resetting shit around this time, aren't they? I don't know, I'm noticing a lot of lag right now, and we haven't even started yet. And I know it's Tuesday, and Steam does their little server reset shit on Tuesday, don't they? Anyway, what do we got? What do we got infantry-wise? One, two, three, four... Mm, five? Six? Seven Cartley Axemen. We got one... We got two Axemen. Interesting enough. Two regular Axemen. Six or seven regular Cartley Axemen. And one little Hillman guy. Yep, okay, and the four elite Persians. <sighs> 1 to 3 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, yeah, that's... It's 1.18 right now. Steam servers will go down any time within the next two hours. All right, we gotta hurry this up. Royal Cataphract General. By the way, if you're playing Armenia, don't bring the frickin' Persian archers. This is such a waste of money. It's like, the precision shot just ain't worth it, dude. The, the eastern archers are better for value. You spend 350 on an archer that has essentially the same killing power. But it's worth more because these guys are like 500 something. Not worth. You could use the extra money to bring another Carly Axeman. Woo! You know, the main line. Easton's like, oh, what's up, Joe? Welcome in. Welcome in. Catching game two, if we can get it going, if, uh, Steam servers don't decide to shit themselves. Spear is swag. Nah, the only, the only two archer units that can say Spear is swag are the Chimerian Heavies and the Kimbri Bow Women. That I can get behind. God, Chimerian Heavies. Fucking love those things. But yeah, no. So, 540 per elite. You could... Or 530 per elite, not 540. 530 per elite. Instead of 350. What is that? Times 4? That's that's 2120 spent on elite Persians. Deploy to the tower! Up oh, for Orem has been dropped. Alright. Actually, taking four Easterns over four elite Persians, you save 720 dinar. 
how much is an how much is a Carly? Is it seven forty or seven twenty? Because if it's seven twenty, that's actually your eighth Carly that you're missing out on on archers. Camarian heavy is better than Cretan and Syrian, and uh, depends on the situation. Seven sixty. Okay, what the fuck is seven twenty? Right, let's make sure these comps are the same, gentlemen. Take them damn screenshots. Alright. Yeah, Curly's are 7 see What was 720? What was I looking Oh no. 710. That's a thorax. Never mind. Alright, so uh one more drop. For Mr. Ferorum and Reaper, I think that's actually a forfeit on their part. Unless they want to reschedule, which is... They got time to do it, it's only Tuesday. 720 or Libyans and Chosen, okay. Yeah, then maybe I'm... Maybe you're fucking... Taking the wrong faction. I think if, yeah, Donald, Mr. Duckman, if they drop again, right, that's... If, uh, Ferorum drops again, is it automatically a forfeit, or are they gonna be able to reschedule? Okay. I think they're just gonna. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna reschedule, because Steam servers are acting up. Unfortunately. Do I want to do a multiplayer battle, Hell Divers stream? Dad. Shit. Hell Divers will be streamed when they fix their shit. Shiv stream. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just go eat some food, honestly. Was that series done? Uh, which series? Like their game? Their match? Um, no, they're rescheduling. I still have had no issues streaming Helldivers. Well, you know what? I don't know. Maybe you're just lucky. I don't know. My my computer is still refusing to use my GPU, and it's only for Helldivers. So, I don't know. They're fucking with me. But anyway, unfortunately, Game 2 will be postponed. They're going to be rescheduling. I probably won't end up streaming it. It'll probably be somebody else in the Discord. Probably mark it. I don't know. Depends. But Game 2 will be postponed because wonderful Steam servers are acting up. They will be going down sometime within the next two hours. It's causing a lot of lag. People are obviously dropping, and we won't be able to continue that. So, unfortunately, Game 2 will be some other time. But, hope you guys enjoyed Game 1 at least. You know, we'll catch you guys uh, some other time. And, uh, yeah, y'all guys, you guys have a good rest of y'all's Tuesday.